Hey guys, Drifter here, welcome to Fortnite In Depth. In today's episode, I'm gonna tell you why the Burst Assault Rifle is amazing, but first, a quick teaser and spoiler. Okay, have a higher headshot multiplier than the base rifles. Like that, so you can one burst people. Yes, you can definitely one burst down a lot of people with this weapon, but that's because the burst rifles are kind of underrated, or I should say criminally underrated, or very underrated. Even when I looked at the initial stats of the weapons when I was starting in depth, I wasn't sold on them, I didn't think they were very good, but they have a couple of non-obvious features that can make them extremely dangerous compared to other weapons, such as burst rifles have a much higher headshot damage than normal rifles or most any weapon in the game, and they actually have higher DPS than any weapon in the game when it comes to the burst. So the amount of damage you can put downstream and how quickly you can kill people is disgusting. Like CSGO or Call of Duty level disgusting. You can drop people very, very quickly with a burst rifle. And through the course of making this video, the blue burst rifle is slowly becoming one of my favorite weapons to use. So let's do one quick fact before we jump into it. Burst rifle stats changed by rarity are damage and reload. They don't get any changes to their recoil any changes to the hip fire box or any sort of weird penetration or versus uh, buildings damage but the base damage on players and how quickly they reload are changed but let's jump straight into those base damages burst assault rifles will deal 27 damage per shot if the weapon is gray 29 damage per shot if the weapon is green and 30 damage per shot if the weapon is blue unfortunately this is very low damage per shot and it's one of the reasons that people tend not to like the weapons by comparison a regular regular plain Jane gray M4 or full auto rifle will deal 30 damage compared to the 30 damage on the blue burst rifle. So you would think that you'd have to have a blue burst rifle, which is one of the rarer weapons in the game, to even get the same damage as the gray M4. However, burst assault rifle headshot damage is 2.5 times, whereas most of the normal rifles and most of the weapons in the game just have a flat double multiplier, so they will deal much more damage per shot for headshots. The gray burst assault rifle will deal 67 damage per headshot, the green one 73 per headshot, and the blue assault rifle will deal a colossal 75 damage per headshot, which is honestly shocking compared to all of the other weapons in the game. And for comparison, the headshot damage damage on a gold scar is only 72, whereas the headshot damage for a blue burst rifle is 75. So in this aspect, the burst rifles are actually outperforming the scars. Now that's headshot damage. As we know, the gold scar has significantly more body shot damage, but this is still a very scary and surprising comparison. So to do some quick comparisons on running into a late game enemy with full 100-100 health, we'll do some of the more mixed healths later. A gray burst assault rifle will kill in three headshots, or a very sad eight body shots so not so great right there a green burst rifle is still three to the head or seven to the body and a blue burst assault rifle is three to the head or seven to the body most notably the headshots don't change it's always an awesome and consistently low number of headshots to kill somebody with a burst assault rifle and as a guy who goes for a lot of headshots I find this to be very effective for comparison a blue m4 will take four shots to the head or seven to the body and a purple scar will take three to the head or six to the body. So you really need something more like a purple scar to start really competing with the burst assault rifles when it comes to headshot damage. Another cool thing is that the rate of fire of the burst is 720 rounds per minute with a burst delay of 550 milliseconds. There's two unique things about this. Number one is that 720 RPM is gonna be the fastest firing weapon in the game as far as I'm aware of. I don't know of any weapon that shoots any fast faster than that. I think the SMGs actually shoot closer to 600 RPM, so that is incredibly fast firing for Fortnite, and the burst delay is a little bit long, but what that means is that the DPS of the burst is going to be very, very high if you're accurate with your first shots. So, unfortunately, the overall DPS is going to be quite low, given that half second of delay between your shots. So the overall DPS of the gray one is 110, green is 118, and blue is 122. However, if you look at the DPS of just the burst itself, just your first three shots, it is insanely high at 324 for gray, 348 for green, and a colossal 360 DPS for blue. That means you'll kill somebody very, very quickly, and it just it's just a shocking amount of upfront damage. 
For comparison, the damage per second or DPS of even the gray burst rifle for the burst itself, not the overall magazine, but just that initial burst, is higher than any of the M4 rifles, higher than the SCAR rifles, higher than your DPS for shotguns, higher than your minigun, and higher than any submachine gun in the game. That initial burst has just scary, scary DPS, and that's the message I'm trying to drive home today. But when you deal, deal with higher tiers of burst rifles, especially the blue one, your shots to kill can get very low if you're in enemies don't have completely full health and shields. So we're going to take a look at the mixed health again. The blue burst assault rifle will kill somebody with 100 health and 50 shield in just two headshots or five shots to the body, which means that you only have to hit two out of three shots of your burst to the head and it'll basically insta down somebody. Compared to the gold scar, that's three headshots and five to the body. So in this instance, the blue burst assault rifle actually outperforms the gold scar. If the player has a little bit less health at a 125 or 25 shield and 100 health, the blue burst assault rifle in total shots, we're doing this one a little bit differently. You can still kill them in one burst if you hit two to the body and one to the head. Or if you're looking at the gold scar, you can kill them with the same amount in one to the head and two to the body. So it's roughly similar. But the point I'm trying to drive home is that you have to hit purple and gold scars to even get competitive with these burst rifles when it comes to shots to kill. Now, I think the burst rifles are downright amazing in this game, especially if you don't need to full auto spray. If you are able to play like I'm doing in a lot of my clips here, if you're able to hold back behind a position in your little fort, if you're able to shoot from on top of a building, if your teammates are pushing and you want to be the guy that hangs back and shoots from behind cover, if you've got really good first shot accuracy or you don't think the enemy's going to react very well, these rifles can absolutely duke on people. The damage on that burst will just shock people. They'll think they've been sniped how quickly they've lost health. If you get headshots, you can down people with one burst almost all the time. And I think that they are top tier weapons that people aren't using, or I shouldn't say using properly. I even didn't do this. I didn't think that they were going to be good. I looked at the stats on them. I didn't like the damage. I didn't like the burst delay. The overall DPS of the whole magazine was kind of trash. So I really hated on burst rifles, even when doing in depth. But after doing this episode and learning about them, mostly the headshot multiple multiplier. I'm, I'm impressed, though there are a few caveats with these weapons. Burst rifles are way, way worse than fully automatic weapons in close quarters combat if you can't aim. When somebody is rushing you up in your face and you're not able to swap to your shotgun or you just need suppressive fire, a burst rifle truly can't compete with a SCAR or any of the automatic M4 rifles. I do this all the time, like don't get me wrong, swapping to a shotgun is going to be the best choice almost all the time, but sometimes you just don't have the ability to do that and you need to go full auto close range with your M4 or SCAR and just continually pummel them into submission. You can't really do that with the burst rifles and also with the burst rifles you need to aim really well. With the full autos you can swipe back and forth and bullets will hit as you cross the target. With these you need to be precise, you need to track your target and in my experience the bloom is more punishing on the burst rifles because you've only got three shots and you're not likely to hit all of them if you're very very close. So close quarters combat, aggressive stuff just does terrible. You'll get murdered and that's why a lot of people don't use these weapons. I don't think a lot of people are in situations where they can play super conservative and go for headshot picks all the time and a lot of people do like to punish bases with suppressive fire which are not what the burst rifles are good at. However, uh, what I like to do and what I'm going to recommend to you is that you choose a blue burst rifle over anything but a SCAR. At the end of the day, I do think that SCARs are better than burst rifles, even blue ones, even though they're competitive on shots to kill. Having a full auto SCAR is very nice for all the other reasons I listed, but I will take a blue burst rifle over any M4 rifle any day of the week. The green one I will also pick up, but the gray one I tend to leave alone as its damage isn't super amazing. However, you need to have some kind of full auto backup, and this isn't your shotgun secondary. This is an actual fully automatic backup weapon that you can swap to to pummel a base or suppress people or just win a fight via attrition instead of skill. So one of my favorite things to do is to have a blue burst rifle to initiate a fight and then swap over to a scar after the first burst or two or when the enemies get too close or even having a tactical submachine 
gun is very good because the hip fire and that is incredibly accurate. Having something more like a suppressed submachine gun is less great. A minigun is acceptable for base pounding, but it's really, really effective. And what I really want all of you to do today is to just try the burst assault rifles and only go for headshots. Because I promise you, if you use these weapons, if you play slow, if you crouch a little bit to tighten up the bloom and you go for headshots, you will be surprised at how quickly you will kill people, especially early game when they don't have 200 shields. You'll one burst kids all day and it'll be super fun. Guys, that is all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about the rifles. I know I certainly did while I was researching this episode. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.